a letter to death dear death it's a pity that when we came into this body living on this planet we didn't know that we had to leave so early all my life was nothing but a series of misjudgments and wrong turns which over time i learned through hard ways i formed relationships that were only a second away from breaking into pieces and making my life a place of utter loneliness and an excuse for escapes i denied love all my life i ran after success money and security but i forgot that mo- no matter how many life insurances i take i could not escape from you funny i still remember the time when i was in school innocent playing with my colors and not knowing what lies ahead I was full of life and did not even think about death As I grew older I got more and more afraid of not existing being afraid I made sure that I survived and for that I joined the rat race because I saw this who was struggling even to survive I did not want to be a part of that I made sure that I was happy so I filled my life with all kinds of amusements which did not promise me fulfillment but it took my mind off from real problems There was a lot of things going on inside me every time every damn time when i broke a promise i told a lie i was dishonest I betrayed someone's trust every time i so wanted things to be not be the way they were but it was just out of my hands do we get a second chance to right the wrongs that we have committed if so do we correct them in the next one If you fail to do it in this one what is the surety that we will do correct it in the next one provided there is a next one as life went by i always asked this question deep inside i know i did what am i missing i have everything yet i want more why why am i so afraid why is this world so messed up but frankly i never bothered to dig deep into these questions because my mind was caught in the process of survival of collecting things that does not matter to me at all but it makes the neighbor jealous so at least temporarily i feel better i've gave me innumerable opportunities i must confess it did give me multiple chances to see through the difficulties i was facing with myself and the people around me but i ignored them i took life for granted and like a sleepwalker unaware of the consequences of it all just walk like the rest of the gang and have a care to stop while returning home from a tired day at office to stop and dance with the street dogs or to talk to the old man who sold tea at the corner we just passed by and i did not even bother to feel what it's like to be the other person it was just like me it took so much time and effort to realize that time was my greatest friend and foe i thought i was a mortal and i made a fool of myself i had just begun to look at the stars and wonder whether there is life on other planets how extraordinary complex is the structure of a leaf i began to see the sunsets and enjoy the evenings and breathe a little more to spend time with myself and be quiet for a while as all my life i just constantly spoke inside my head never for a single second that i stopped even in sleep i constantly dreamt never for a single second did i rest i have learned to be quiet within myself to feel the life force within me but as i took the first step towards it you knocked at my door dear death could you not have come a little late could you not lend me some more time so that i could actually run on a beach make a sand castle sit quietly on a mountain and play with the snow fall in love and feel what it's like to be in a state of love but you have your own freedom i wonder whether i will do the same mistakes all over again start the next one with a fresh perspective a new story a new beginning and a new world i never lived because i never loved and i'm a failure like the rest of us because i failed to see the full significance of this flaw which is love dear death you are a good friend you have helped me to see what really matters in the end i have acquired so many things possessed so many people but all is lost in the end 
I suppose one should make mistakes after all. Pain is the greatest teacher you can find. I remember I had a conversation with my sister once when I was a young man, sitting on the beach with her. She told me that she had a dream once, that one day, when everything ends, the universe will come and rescue her because she loved him so much. She said, I know that we are so far from each other, but he's part of me and I am part of him. I never understood what she meant that night when I saw her peculiar smile and her face looking at the waves. But I feel as my breath is getting calmer and calmer and somehow the body feels lighter and lighter. I think I see what she meant.